Christmas morning we would wake up and it's this kind of thing kids do where like they know that they're the center of attention or they can sense in some way that this is about them. It's like if you ever if you ever like take a really little kid to a, a like a a fair and amusement park and there's a merry-go-round. The kid really wants to ride the merry-go-round. They pick out their horse they want to ride or whatever. And then they're going around and the parents are watching. The family's watching and each time the kid comes around, the kid will like awkwardly look away and pretend that he or she doesn't notice the parents or isn't painfully aware of the fact that they're like smiling and watching her and like, are you having fun? Are you having fun? This is a good, like, because I don't know, it's just awkward for the kid. I've seen it happen a lot. And it was a little bit that way on Christmas morning when Jameson and I would, our parents would tell us to come downstairs and we would get up and we would walk down the stairs. We would kind of have our heads down um, because we knew that we were being watched as we walked down the stairs. You know, you know how it is. Maybe you don't, I don't know. The sandbar's former ring here. I want some donuts. Goofy. There he is. That other Jack sure was unusual. Even more than Jack usually is. <laughs> just heard a... I just heard the music loop. It was not a smooth loop. I feel like these power-ups are going to make that much of a difference in that fight, though. Well, 
What can't be it? What are you talking about? Oh no, Heartless. you're fast swimming, the controls all of a sudden reverse. Why didn't they just not do that? Say crab pot. Yeah. 
Did I see a ch uh <clears throat> did I see a chest down here? Max out a keyblade now. Those rocks look like they lead up to somewhere. Let's see. Got it. some good stuff down here. Two electrums, wow. This place rocks. <laughs> oh, no crabs though, this place sucks. Freaking jackpot down here. Is this like a trap or something? Wow. Three of those. Good grief. This place. And crabs too. I came to the right. Okay, no wonder it was guarded by that ungodly strong ship. I got like four of those. Went from having zero to four. Powered up my ship too. Whew. Okay, anything else?
I just didn't want to not record. There's just so much pretty island. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just neat. Yeah. They did a good yeah. job making the worlds look good. It's so weird, like, seeing, like, Sora, Donald, and Goofy next to, like, I guess, kind of like somewhat realistic looking characters. Yeah. Like actual humans. Like a guy that looks like Johnny Depp. A guy that looks like uh, Orlando Bloom. It was pretty weird in Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. But in, in this one, like, the graphics are so much better. Uh-huh. Sora kind of passes for... I guess, cause, I guess they did something to, like, his skin texture. To make him look more like realistic. Oh yeah. So he kind of passes, I think. But Donald and Goofy, it's just like, it's so crazy. But everyone just acts like it's normal. Got a walking duck and <laughs> dog man. It's cool that these. Enemies still have like the same move sets mm -hmm. from Kingdom Hearts One. I'm happy that they always bring back the fat runner guys and the oh yeah the little soldiers that like run around with the oversized heads. Oh yeah. I forget what they're called. Wait, they're just called soldiers, aren't they? Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. yeah. They were um, a lot of the Heartless were recolored in Final Mix. Yeah. And then in in two Final Mix, I guess, or like I don't know about in the base game of two, but in Final Mix they were recolored. Yeah. Um. They're recolored in both Final Mix versions. Well, I don't know why. Like I I like the original colors better. Yeah, me too. And I noticed that in this game they had the original colors, and I'm happy for that. Yeah, it's it's interesting because from what I've seen, people say that the Final Mix versions are like. The true canonical things. Well, they say that like it's the true canonical like edition of the game. It yeah. adds like cutscenes and stuff. But like, oh, yeah. does that go with like the Heartless as well? Like, are they supposed to be that color? That's like, I guess not. <laughs> Considering like in every other game that isn't Final Mix, they're this color. Yeah, it's, I. I don't know. It's weird. Don't know why he did that. I'm just like, is this where I came from? No. No. You gotta climb up the cliff. Oh, I think it's south. I think you gotta go south. And then there's another cliff. With more monkeys. I bet we'll find some ingredients around here. Back off. Nope, I'm using the wrong key for this. We gotta get that magic boost. Heal. Yeah. So is your favorite world, do you think? This world was pretty good. Oh. I don't think I don't think I cared much for the story of this world though. Yeah. I I didn't like the movie that this uh, this world was based on. I never saw that one. I thought it was pretty awful. It was the third movie. Is it? Yeah. Uh, at World's End, I, I thought that movie was just terrible. Oh, okay. 
Is Dead Man's Chest the second one? Yeah, I think so. Because I lo would look in the, uh, the, the gummy phone for the character entries and say some of the characters appeared first in Dead Man's Chest. Yeah, the, Dead Man's Chest is like... At, so, Black Pearl is its own self-contained story. Right. And then Dead Man's Chest ends on a cliffhanger. Okay. Um, at World's End resolves that. And then after that, there's like two more, and I haven't seen either of them. Probably never will. Kind of heard like the movies got like kind of worse. Yeah, I never, I haven't really enjoyed a single one of them. Like, I saw the first one and thought it was okay. okay. Yeah, um, I actually liked the second one kind of more than the first one, which is a pretty unpopular opinion. Um, I guess, or I don't know. I, I remember seeing the first one, but I don't, like, remember everything that happens in it. Yeah, it just wasn't all that special to me. But, three, just the whole time I was watching three, I was just, like, borderline angry at how, like, <laughs> convoluted and, like, nonsensical it was. Like, suddenly the lady turns into a giant and... There's just like so much going on and so many betrayals and like, uh, sh like, really abrupt like swapping allegiances and uh, or like seeming to swap allegiances, but actually we weren't. But it's just like it was really hard to follow. Like, oh yeah. I was just like I don't know what's going on. Is Because there's kind of a moment like that in this. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen the part where uh, Will and Elizabeth kind of turn Jack over. To the Admiral? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it happens in the movie. But it like, but they're like still working with each other? Yeah. Is it, I don't know, is that because like, it's just like a pirate thing to do? I don't know. Like a, don't, tr you don't trust each other, but... In the end, if things work out, you still trust each other? I don't know. Back off! Hey. Ah, so close. Nice! I haven't played a single one of those games yet. I played them all just to, uh... Just to do it. Because you get a little... For getting a high score, you get the little Mickey head saying that you, like, completed oh, yeah. it. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably do that eventually. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you don't even have to play it very long. But there's, like, 30-something of the games. But, like, you don't have to play it very long because there's no, like, pre- like, like determined high scores. So no matter what score you get, it's a high score. Oh, okay. Until you, uh, unless you play it multiple times, then you yeah. can beat your old one. Right. Some of the games are pretty decent. They're all kind okay, of the same, off. mostly, aren't they? Just like mm. they're all like this really old, like tiger. Yeah, but some are like better than others. Huh. Some are kind of like the same, like type of game. But they're like structured differently. <clears throat> oh, I got crabs from that. Yeah, yeah. I okay. forgot about that. That's cool. We're going to the end of the world. What does it do if you go out that far? Oh, it just said on the screen you can travel no further. Oh, okay. So I probably, without I realizing it, I was probably brushing up against like a physical Oh, okay, wall. Like a barrier. Well, not phys- you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an invisible wall. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, this is where I was when I got... Destroyed. Yeah, almost. Ah, we meet again. No, we don't. You guys are the little guys, yeah. handsy ones. That was easy. Yeah, the green oh, ones really are really satisfying. 
I Wait, can't... have I not been? I've been here already, haven't I? Let's see. Wait, what am I doing? Let's see. You can check the chart. Right there. There's an X on it, but not a not a glowy yellow thing. The glowy yellow thing means a save point. Oh, pff, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I have been here then. Yeah. All right, that makes this easier. Okay, we're off. Got to read that legend. <clears throat> uh, Klimps today just or not a few some manner of hours ago some manner I can't talk. Klimps put out a Birth by Sleep video. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's been working his way through all the Kingdom Hearts games and he's he's done one, two, three, fifty-eight by two days. Chain of I think Chain of Memories. And now he's Doing birth by finally, sleep. yeah. Well, he's he's done like part one or something. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like Klimps. <clears throat> yeah. It's kind of funny. Never would have discovered him if not for Nier. Oh yeah. Started with his, like someone on Reddit recommended his channel to like because um, brush up on the war. Because I was, because I was like trying to read up on like Drakengard and stuff as well. Uh, I was not about to play all those. Right. It's kind of hard to nowadays. Yeah, I don't know how you can avoid emulate, I guess. Yeah. Can you emulate? What are the Dragon Guard games on PS2? Uh, one and two are on PS2, and I think three, three is, is on, on PS3. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a three. Yeah. Come on, Sora. <laughs> For some reason, like the one that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, they're... all those are crabs. Nice. All those barrels. But they're gonna be the big sand, like oh, tower, okay. heartless pop up. I think. Yeah. Oh, wow, oh, okay. There's yeah. a lot. Back off. Oh, I got the kingdom. I keep on doing that. Gotta think about what I'm doing. Uh-huh. <clears throat> if you do the Goofy bomb uh, Bombardier on them, Goofy will go into their mouth and they'll, like, die. Uh oh. Yeah. Like instantly? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it surprised me when I did it. I was like, holy crap, did that just happen? Oh, what? Oh, I didn't use Rage for it. Right. Oh, you used a different thing. Okay, I'm getting wrecked. Last me until my magic fills back up. Yeah. Well, all of them do fear. Oh. Do you have any items? Not no items, of course. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. You shot lock. I got about a shot lock. Yeah, you. Oh, you played 0 0.2. That had shot lock. Mm -hmm. Did you ever use it? Uh, some. I played Birth by Sleep as well. Oh, okay. On a PSP. Oh, okay. I actually bought a PSP just for it in Crisis Core. Oh, really? And then I didn't finish Crisis Core because I hated it. Oh. Uh, I actually kind of like Crisis Core. Yeah. I don't think my reasons for disliking it had much to do with the game. Although they had something to do with the... Oh, oops.
break the <laughs> crab. Can you pick up the crabs while in that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, is he dead? Oh, cool. Yeah, we got chests there too. Oh, there's crabs everywhere. They're everywhere! Oh, they like go away after a while, huh? Yeah. I just saw one burrow into the ground. I thought they would just walk around endlessly. They're desperately trying to flee from you. Why? I'm just gonna put them on my ship. Ship's made of Just patch him into the fabric of my ship to upgrade it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? They can climb. They resisted my fire magic. They're strong. No! Ugh, oh, isn't it, uh. Uh, all the Dark Souls games have giant crabs in them. Uh, three does. I don't remember if uh, one or does. two do, do. There was something I saw, like, where some guy was like, What is it with the giant crabs? Like, they're everywhere in Dark Souls 3. Like, in every place, there's, like, a giant crab somewhere. They were in the swamp, and they were in... If I remember correctly, they were in the... Um... The... Demon Ruins place, I can't think of the name. Burning Lake or something. Uh, Smoldering Lake. Yeah. Whatever the place is, but below the catacombs of Carthus. I remember seeing, like, some. Maybe it was like a Steam review. Some guy was going on and on about crabs. I just remember it being really funny. I really like when some people, like, go out of their way to make their review, like, actually very funny to read. Ooh. You're a crap collecting boy. Give me a crab tree. You bring me a sorry receiver like crab tree. That's an inside joke. Shout out to Ashley okay. and Darius. If they ever watch this. Oh, what? Portobello. Put those on a, on a burger. Man, I want a burger now. This might be a good spot to find some ingredients. Just imagine the yummy stuff Little Chef will whip up with this. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I'm really sad about uh. I'm not really sad, but like. Hmm. Yeah. I guess kind of sad about um. Man, I forgot its name. That's sad. Burgery? Yeah, Burgery. Yeah, those are really good. I like their avocado burger. Uh, you get an avocado burger and a draft <laughs> beer for not too terribly much. I always got the their mushroom burger. Yeah, that sounds good. I think that's it for this island. I think so. Oh. Oh, there you go. You look. Oh, that's a really good. I would have hated yeah. to miss that. Damascus. Isn't that. Uh, I'm thinking of Final Fantasy XII. There's a place called Dalmasca. I've received a text message. Don't they know you're recording? Don't they know I'm recording Kingdom Hearts 3?
It's the end of the semester, the end of the year, Christmas time, New Year's, all that. When I first arrived in Korea, the teacher at my school before me took me to this cafe. Christmas jamong, which means Christmas grapefruit. He shared with me his golden folder that had been passed down to him from the teacher before him. Had a bunch of life in Korea tips, teaching tips, activities. And he told me that he went to this coffee shop a lot and that in the winter they had a Christmas tree up. So that it was a good place to go around Christmas time if I was feeling homesick. After Jameson died and I started making this series, I always intended to record a video here. I wanted to do it around Christmas time, but by the time I was ready, looks like this cafe is closed. I noticed that it wasn't open for several weeks in a row, and then I started seeing the owner and people moving stuff out of it, chairs and stuff. I felt kind of guilty because I had stopped going in favor of this other independent cafe that I featured in this series before. I really like both of them and I really like the owners of both of them, but the other place was cheaper and it was a further walk which I thought was better for me. I guess I won't see those people again. The lady. Even after months of not going there, when I'd pop in, she would always remember not to give me a sleeve on my ice drink. They were really kind. I used to go when I was sick and get hot lemon tea. Actually, just this past Monday, I learned that a cafe on the other side of town that I really liked called Elephant Factory also closed. I went there and the place was all empty and the sign was gone and there was a sign up in Korean that usually indicates that the building is for rent, so I'll probably never see that lady again. She always remembered me too. These independent businesses in Korea, they come and go so fast. Anyway. Here's some footage of what I actually did on Christmas. Went and checked out a mall and a temple in the Gangnam area of Seoul. Did we get the same thing? Yes, you all got yeah. the same thing. That's the same exact thing, okay. I'm sure. All right, we're starting the unwrapping present. I feel like the first person who unwraps it. We will spoil you all know what This is something we can maybe do something with later. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. Can we do it now? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh, it's always good. No! Hey! Oh. I know, I mean, yes! This is a good one, man. I got the hairy old man. I oh, I was gonna God. get Hitler. Yes! That's terrifying. <laughs> you didn't get Hitler. I didn't get Hitler, I didn't Sorry. get my guy. There was no Hitler yeah. me. Did you, did you oh, find that place? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, Robin? When we were walking and you were telling me about it, I already knew exactly what you were talking about. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I feel a little bad for Ellie. She used to look at this hairy man in my apartment now. They didn't have a female one, uh, Heather, or I would have gotten But that. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> it's amazing. Perfect. Thank you. I deliberated between that and Corin, but then I thought Rob, I think he used Robin a little bit more. I picked, I would deliberated between Gandorf and K-Roll with you. No, uh, no, no, like now I understand the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I was th going back and forth like oh Bowser, K-Roll, Ganondorf. Yeah. Um, I got your Simon because there wasn't a Hitler one, and because <laughs> you and I played Castlevania with Simon. It did. Belmont it works. It's, it's definitely second place. Like, yeah. yes. there's just Hitler yeah, would have been number yeah, one I for like sure. Yeah, there's cool. just there's just awesome. one problem here, right, right here. What's wrong? Japanese. Six plus. Six plus. Bobby, oh, I can't you're like use this. Two. Uh, Bobby, I came really close to getting you Diddy Kong, but then I thought you're probably more invested overall in Final Fantasy Dissidia type stuff, so you might uh, like yeah. Cloth. No, oh, Diddy Kong would have been great too. I have no complaints. We don't need more than one Diddy Kong. Okay. No complaints. That was wise. So we can actually use this in the game to create a horrifying AI fighter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna create a like, bunch of yeah. them. Oh, this is, more. And this then is make them fight each other. Like the one that you, you got with this Ryu, right? He got Ryu. Yeah. Um, yeah. Grayson gave me uh, Krom, Krom, and I've never opened that actually. I still haven't uh, opened it. You put it in. Do I just hit the do I hit the Wii with it, or do I hit the? You put it like on you the controller. You stick it into the TV. You reach your hand. Isn't the, don't the, like, the controllers have a sensor on them? Yeah. yeah. Do I throw it at the TV? Yes. In the, yeah. In the exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then they'll have to put wrist straps on these things. <laughs> I did come with clear instructions. It was all in Japanese. 
Oh, you're already taking them out of the box. But you said, I'm going I know you really like Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I want to So I thought Gandalf was probably a better pick. Too bad boy, get bad. Oh, no, I love it. I was going to say. I only, with, use, with I only Twilight use Bobby Princess. Skin. Yeah, Twilight Princess. Yeah. His chin is uncomfortably yeah. smooth. It's really nice. Oh. His yeah. chin is. He wants you to. His caress chin looks kind of flat. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's not rounded out. That's okay. They they I could like handle it. Noise. God, that chain is cool. And now. Chain is that was the really that cool. was the last Simon they had. That's a good one. They had, it was the display one they had to take. What does Richter look like? Excellent. They didn't have a Richter, at least not that I saw. But seriously, how do I do this? Do I just put just it next change. to it? He's like in the JoJo When pose. did you get these? Uh, you know that time that I went up to, uh, I went up to Seoul to surprise my girlfriend? Ah! I, well, so, okay, the past weekend after the Garden of uh, Morning Calm, before I came back to Chanan, I went to there and I got some of them, but I couldn't carry that many. Yeah. Like, I didn't have room. I, uh, so I just went back up the other night and got the, the last few. Uh -huh. uh, so I wasn't actually trying to surprise my girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, like I saw her, but. Uh -huh. but yeah. That's good. Hmm? Well, thank oh, you very much. Oh, thank no problem. You, I feel bad I didn't get anything. That's no, fine. No. You can all just buy me expensive coffee drinks. Oh, uh, okay. One by one. We're gonna buy you all buy you nice bros tonight. You're gonna try yeah. it. You just have like. <laughs> You're gonna get five nice bros. It's not gonna get me jacked. Your Christmas the best present looking. is gonna be a heart attack. Cloud you will not. We're gonna give you yeah. five <laughs> cups of coffee. Of <laughs> he's either, he's either not gonna sleep or he's gonna sleep Shrink down the Buster Sword. Yeah. Just to get it in the same Yeah, that's true. Well, maybe. I think it's a little smaller. Yeah, it's probably a little smaller than it. That it would, because it's normally like the size of his whole freaking body. Right? Yeah. How would you? Can you imagine? It's like, mm. yeah, that's true. It's I guess they out. wanted to make it like decent, decent sculpting for mass-produced plastic. Oh, it says "hurry up" it's on the back. Small. I didn't it's even know that. Oh, can terrible. you read the book? Wow. If you had better eyes, could you read this book? Let me look. <laughs> Ganondorf looks pretty good though. Could, yeah. You could read yeah. that language. Could, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I never know if it's my if I need new glasses or if you can read a make believe language. Hey. Okay, now you, you go. gotta choose a you gotta choose a me that no. the person who owns it. So you can create a me in like five seconds if you want and say it's you. Okay. Uh, oh no. You can choose right. a look alike. Choose a look alike. I like this. He looks like me. That looks like me. There you go. It's your future. Next. I just need to... You can edit it if you want. Yeah. Add some or you could just say done. Off. Yeah. Or you just hit... You have to enter a nickname though. Oh, I didn't know I was character creating. Yeah. We all gotta make me's for you now. What's Heather doing on the screen there? Being fabulous. I mean, like, how'd she get herself in the TV? I jumped in. <laughs> That's right. Nah. Not yet. Yeah, my eyes are definitely purple. Your That's eyes, a... your eyes are just like natural color. I'm gonna go with purple Ooh, because red. You have wrinkles. Red eyes. Your face has wrinkles. Mm -hmm. No, I know. Ben's here too. And then my eyebrows need to be. I'm here way too. I don't know if it's getting me. Oh god. I like those. You Wait. have terrible taste. Do the camera. blocks. Do the blocks. Nope. You have terrible taste. Left camera. and down too. You Left. have the worst taste. Try. I'm gonna see it. Okay. There That's we awesome. Go. There it is. Terrible. Do you keep the haircut? Do what you want. Yeah, you can That's make it the cool. girl one if you want. <laughs> I wish this was not yellow. I wish, like, the yellow is a great yellow. Don't you always choose the pink one anyway? I do, but I'm I'm gonna play as pink. <laughs> make the enemy... Oh, then I guess not. I can make the enemy what? Ooh, whatever you want. It's not like red. Yeah. Alright, who's next? Oh, yes. I'm so cute. I'm adorable. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Put away. Put away, yep. Yeah. Wait, where's the plus? <laughs> Oh, there's the plus. Oh, okay, you gotta return it to the... Oh, so we can only have one per controller? No, no, no. Basically, you like... It's you like you a put the amiibo in the system, mm -hmm. and then you return it back to the thing. Okay, right. now. But does that mean we can only have, like, so, it, when we're playing, we can only have one amiibo yeah. out per controller? No, you can have a bunch of them I out. think this is just the register. Yeah, it's just like registering oh, okay. it. Okay, cool. <clears throat> it's to save the data to the, the chip in the, the amiibo. 
Tanner's registering his Wario. I'm trying to. All right, Have Tanner. Fun. All right. You better make a me you on better my be, system. You better be Dixie Kong. Using? Using you better be that Dixie Kong. Kong. You could be Skull Kid. I think that's more accurate to how I you look. I don't want to. Be Skull Kid. I look just like Skull Kid. I'm my, that. my me is kind of freaking uh, out Maybe I shouldn't. She's so kid. intense. You don't have to. Create She's me. got the Moe eyes. Let's choose a look alike. I'm a male. You're a boy. Oh, that's just a me, right? Yeah. Like the top row, the fourth one over. Yeah, kinda, that guy. Kinda. That's who I had in mind for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. You just need to make his face. My face is kind of weird. Is a, your yeah. face is like a triangle. You like are a very triangle. Angular. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. So that's more that's your face. It. That's my face. Okay. You're like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. The <laughs> Zoinks. Yeah. Uh, you can just change, change his shirt. Put on shirt. some makeup. What is this? It's blush. Facial hair? Yes. There you Are go. you going to get yourself a bushy See, if I can't have shoot. a beard in real life, I'll have wood in this game. Okay. That's not. Patch. A goatee. Is this, is this all the options? Yeah. There aren't very many. I look horrible with it. Never mind. Just have the soul patch. It worked. <laughs> Oh my. That's oh, like a oh, beard. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, give no. yourself the Fu Manchu. All right, I'm going to Manchu. Position. There it is. Shifu, which is teacher. It's going to come out of my. Teacher, teacher. There you go. It's going to be it like, a, like a halo. Uh -huh. Put it on the bottom of your chin. <laughs> oh, Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. We got we to gotta do this. This is how we do it in Texas, boys. They don't Sorry. have like a five o'clock shadow option. <laughs> I know, that's what I have. have Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this. Yeah. Nickname for your amiibo. Oh. PG thirteen? Yeah. Keep your filth off my switch. I'm gonna call it Dirty Old Man. You only got ten characters. I'm so glad Dirty you man. know how you see yourself. Oh, if like only it. dirty wasn't five words, you could be dirty, dirty old man. man. I know. Or dirty tan man. Dirty man. <laughs> dirty tan man. Alright, dirty man. We'll Dirty man. Alright, okay. okay. Let's do this. Alright, and then my. Hold that gross figure hold to the thing. disgusting human on here. Dirty tag. Alright, we're good. Okay. Next. You already said. But I don't have to do something. Oh, wait, 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 you gotta pick your car. Alright, and you gotta do the only one that's appropriate. Hold on. Put the, the belly shirt. The belly shirt? Yeah. I mean, it's. Well, yeah, a lot of them are, actually. I'm going classic. Actually, I always change my color, anyways. Classic. Mm. Yes. You disgusting. Okay, you <laughs> you gotta put him away. away. Send on a journey. What's that? Horrifying. There it is. Is that like dismissing it? Uh, I think it might be a level up thing. Yeah, it's probably like yes. a level up type thing. Yes. You gotta feed spirits <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Which you disgusting you freaks is okay. next. Go, Michael. All right. You watch your whip. Ah, I did it. Trying to be your <laughs> Irish all over my switch. Put the Irish anywhere I want. Can I just be the also Tanner? Yeah. <laughs> if you there. want to. Wanna? Oh, sassy pants. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I like it. That's perfect. Oh, I chose 12 as a Mr. Sassy. But yeah. I only have 10, so I gotta work for what I got. Yep. You doing it just like people when they do stuff on their license plates. Now, okay, now pick that one. You select them. Yeah, Don't pick me. Now it's, it's the Amiibo's name. Oh, is it my name? Yeah, it's your amiibo name. Hold on, let me go back. Oh, my amiibo name. I want well, my. Well, it's too late. You created. Mother. You created that amiibo. That that me. Uh, you can you can change the name, right? You could edit the me. I think you can I change the name can. at the end. Okay. Yeah. But I've done something horrible. No, you're yeah. okay. Let's see what happens yeah. when you panic. Yeah. Do it again. Sorry, guys. That's, that's okay. Yeah, go down. Go down to Mr. Sassy Pants. Re me the old program. I got it the me later. Okay, I see what you're saying. Right, then you, one thing. more time. Wouldn't be my guy unless he was kind of jacked up. <laughs> yeah. One more time. One more time. All right, the me has to be facing you. Yeah. Me. We're putting that controller through the ringer. Simmon. What okay. color do you want him to be? Well, everything else is brown. Da 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 Yeah. Oh, Bobby's doing it now? Yep. Bobby All right, Bobby, just go for the ugliest thing you can. Okay. Oh, wait, let me see. Where's the mouse? I don't know why I'm thinking of it, friend. Hey, it was before the internet was going. She had to pretend to be somehow. 
Uh, I think the one, two from the one that's currently selected, two from to the right. That one's pretty good for you. Okay. Okay, what's my nickname? Brixby? Buffalo? I don't know. Bobby? She had the matriarch, this is 100 baby stones. Had the to do Did you see this one? So she's a You're gonna do Curaldo? Yeah. You should do like K. Kind of should I do K? Yeah, K U R. I like it, Bobby. Right there. Good work. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Saucer bones! Your plants are the sauciest. There he is. Which Curaldo? It's interesting that they made Wario like jump down and do an animation, but with Cloud. Right. Should I have him have the, the red ribbon on his arm? Or whatever. Sleeve. Is it pre-death or like. post-death? <clears throat> what is it? You've I'll, got give a, a, I'll give him the ribbon. He's been, he's seen stuff. Okay. Jump down and do your animation. There you go. Yeah. Alright, put you away. That's gonna be a sad scene when the remake comes out. Yeah. Because I watched it I watched it again for the like online, like the old one. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like it's wow. Pretty sad. It's sad, but like wow. How much sadder it's gonna be with like more with, like, cinematography. Graphics, yeah. Yeah. Cinematography with graphics. graphics. Right in complete. Them graphics. Alright. Okay, Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. Alright. Benjamin. Time, time for Benjamin. Stab him in the head to make himself a Benjamin cartoon Bunny's man. He's really 60 years old. <laughs> Look, Cloud is flying through the air. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Thank you. He's magic. What, what did I do? You broke it. Oh, yeah, it's <sighs> all the oh my, what happened? See, it's not just me. Uh. Oh, that one there. <laughs> Which one? That one, the one, 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 one you're over, over here. There you go. There we are. Oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> all right, next. You're done. Name it. <laughs> It looks like a Let's character from King of the Hill. More. Press Y to generate more. Yeah, you can do... Yeah. There you go. Oh, those cheeks. I like that angry looking nerd. Ooh, the kissy face. This one? He's like, ooh. That one's cute. Okay. He's, he's just going like, mm. You gotta keep the fit. You gotta keep the mouth at least. He's like, oh. Looks like he's like almost in pain. Oh my. <laughs> No. Wait, were you a female or a male? It was a male. Um, how, how dare you, you ask? <laughs> Are you a boy or a girl? Professor Oak! Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there we are. I like it. Yep. No, no, that has to be Are launch. you actually making a me for Emma? Oh, I was gonna. Bobby, I'm about to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. That is beautiful, Bobby. I'm only kidding. Oh, oh God. No. Yeah, no. There it is. <laughs> now nobody suspects it's making a monstrosity. Yeah, I have some cool shades. <laughs> the hair is protruding out of it. No, no, I don't want it. I don't want that. Right, there you on. go. That works out. Now you gotta change the body. Yeah, change the body. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you gotta make the most. You make it really, really. Make it a, make it a fat, oh, angry dog. Really short, oh, really short, yeah, and really it's fat. Okay. Oh, back me. Oh man. There we go. Like this is not nearly extreme enough. Forever. Yeah. The two, Nintendo's a bit too too nice. Yeah. As tall as you can be, just a giant. Oh okay. This <laughs> is really off-putting. I like this. What happens it's like a really just a stick. What's what looks creepier? If you don't think this is beautiful, you're a bigot. <laughs> All right, this looks better. There you go. Yeah. And then go back. Hey, don't forget. Oh, do I have to? Just yeah, just B. Press a, or wait, B. B. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Favorite color. Favorite color, of course. Nope. There it is. Um. Uh, very close. Ooh yeah. Okay. <laughs> that nickname. Is good. How do I make it capital? Uh, yeah. To the ABC. Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> Dang, uh, only ten characters. Yeah. You're gonna do real butter. Real butter. You could do one, all one Wait, word. Yeah, yeah, other. make it one word. Yeah, kill the space. Yeah. Kill the space. Uh, real butter. Perfect. <clears throat> this is good. Oh, that was it's adorable. Did <laughs> <laughs> I cook it? Pick real butter. Then you make, make it. it. Make it your name. Ah, okay. There we go. Scoot. 
Scoot. <clears throat> Scoot, king Scoot. of the Gerudo. There we go. Now you gotta put him back there. Gerudo. There you are, Scoot. Yeah, hold him in there. There he is. Pick a color. Pick number one or two. Pick a color for, for him. Uh, clearly. I'm a <laughs> Frostbitten Ganon. No, this should be a better cook. Yeah. Oh, I should have called him Scrum. <laughs> Scrum. <laughs> All right, put him away. There we go. This is the wolf one I got for myself. He's got a cool wolf on the back of his jacket with like some wolf claw scratches. Ooh. Wolf pack. The hunt is on, boys. <laughs> okay. That was perfect. Space buttons don't work. For second, I thought you were wolf. Done. Oh, for the amiibo, okay, I see. Yeah, so it knows your name. What is your name? Wolfie! Kinda wish Wolf had like a German accent. I want to kill you. Mm, I am Wolfie. Okay, Wolfie. so I actually always play as this wolf. Yeah. Uh, this is the best color scheme and it should be default. <laughs> So I guess I'll make the amiibo one um, green. No, I I guess I mean the black one's pretty okay. cool. Okay. Yeah. I only need to style. This is probably the worst. She is a teen. Ah, I don't know. She is getting kind of purple. Does not work. I, mean, I would pick this, but this is the one I. I guess I'll just go with purple, huh? It's the default. Yeah. All right. Okay, and then put away. Yeah, unless you want to freaking level him up a bunch. We just watch you. <laughs> but he'd be oh, yeah. he'd be him. way out leveled. I gotta feed him spears. Compared to us, yeah. yeah. We can just level them up by Fighting. having them fight, yeah. yeah. Someone else has their super. Oh crap! Oh, what? That's my boy. That's my boy. I think Robin has triple double K. So many people up there have their stuff. It's alarming. Hey, that's my, that's my, my son. That's how they're just... Level up, level up. You know who else has his power? You. Hitler! No, Hitler power! I didn't do very much, actually. Hey. Hey. No. Oh, I did level that hit again. Oh. Hitler! Hey, Heather, come here. All right, let's go, Wario. Go, go in the down. Go look down Papa. <laughs> Bobby, come here. I so be my friend, Bobby. Bobby. Are you going to be my friend, Bobby? From me. Bobby. Bobby. Stay away from me, you freak. Bobby, be my friend. Be my friend, Bobby. This game. I feel the pure cancer. Pure cancer. <laughs> I played a really light character. I'm doomed. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Here I am in this video um, tribute to my brother while another episode of the same tribute series plays on the monitor in the background. That's pretty meta, isn't it? Um, I am going to open. Whoa. This is Michael. I'm going to open this amiibo that I discussed earlier. The Fox amiibo for Jameson. You might think that opening and then playing with an amiibo that is in, that is discussed to be a representation of playing with the spirit of my brother who loved Fox is something I should do alone as a private thing between me and him, but uh, I think it's better to do stuff in the spirit of including other people and everyone having a good time and life is the connections between people and etc etc etc. If I was just it's a good figure. If I were just in my room doing this by myself, that'd be kind of really sad. And so, uh, Michael, 
is not super familiar with snow. He's like played with us quite a bit, but he didn't grow up playing at all his life since he was 11 years old. So he's shaking his head back behind the camera where you can't see to confirm that what I'm saying is correct. But uh, we're gonna get Michael some practice in Smash while fighting against Fox, whom my brother loved. I don't know if you want me to zoom in on Fox. Alright. Put some of your guys in there. Sassy pants. What? Or sassy pants. Oh, I got a spirit from that. What? Wow. Okay. I got a gift for Sweet. sticking your amiibo in there. Okay. Didn't know that was gonna happen, but okay. Right. Get a wolf in there. That's the that's the combo, fox and wolf. Uh, fox, falco, and wolf, but they didn't have a falco one at the store. Wolf. You gotta create them and like add names and stuff and likenesses. Uh, let's put them away. This is a two man job. Alright, now we're gonna <coughs> make Fox. Alright. Okay, Jameson. Okay. There you go. And Do your thing. I've already made a Jameson me. Oh. Sweet. A lot, oh, like months ago. Is there a nickname for this amiibo? Well, the name of the me is Jameson, the amiibo is. I'm just gonna do Fox. Used, I don't remember what color he used. I mean, they're all different back in the old game anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's use this one. Fox is from Star Fox, right? From back in the day yep. of Nintendo 64. Yeah. Yeah. He's technically the first game, or the first two games were on the Super Nintendo. And then, uh,. Star Fox 64 was like a really big deal. That's what it was. Yeah. I remember that was like when I was, uh, oh my god, when I was in middle school. That was like a, the game, Nintendo 64. Yeah. 3D. That Everybody was like brand new. Awesome. Everybody was big into that. I wasn't any good at that game as a kid. Well, when that game game came out, they didn't have YouTube, so I only saw clips of it on uh, I don't know some video game TV show and the commercial. This is the song that Jameson liked in the first Star Fox, but we're gonna do this one for the sake of Smash because he liked this one a lot too. Okay. Oh, but well, you gotta add all the. Yeah, in there. and you gotta not want to change your yeah, name yeah, you know, from Buffalo. Ow. I really do like Bowser. I think he might be my new guy. I mean, okay. I do want to like fiddle around with some new people. Since he's... Okay. And Simon. Sassy pants. Which one? Wolf. Okay. Apparently, all my games are updating. Okay. I'm gonna be Falco. Oops, that's not Falco. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
We got the whole Star Fox crew here. Okay. Poor Fox Amiibo is level yeah, one. The so one. He's, he's gonna get demolished. Can't be helped. Oh, he's already he's learning fast. I'm on fire. Here, come here, Fox. Get out of here. He's already leveled up. Simon Belmont has killed me. You just killed me. What level is your Simon? 35? He's like 30 something. Yeah. 38. Oh. Get away from all the. Get away from me, Simon. You know, Fox is doing pretty well. He's level 4. And he still has 3 stocks. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just got grain crossed by Simon. <laughs> This coming my somebody's way. Come here. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, he says something different if he uses it on Fox. That's really cool detail. Because usually he says, um, like the hunt is on, boys, but I've got you now, Star Fox is like a line from the old game. I think the line from Dark Vader too. Dark Vader says that Star Wars. I got you now. This guy got final smash. He's like holding down. his shield all the way to the end. Fox is done. Well, he put up a good fight for being a one. Yeah. Why did that throw so weak against you? I got that throw twice. And he didn't destroy it. The amiibos are actually doing a little too well. <laughs> oh, that one's gonna hurt. Oh. Yeah, that one's gonna hurt that amiibo. Hey, how many double teams have these amiibos? Oh, that's you. Sorry. Oh. oh. Wait, what? You're on the ground! Oh, oh, Wolf just killed me. How many lives you got left? Oh, one. One of my last. Oh, man, I just got final smash. I'm kind of on the edge of the screen, so he might actually get me. Nope. I had a final smash, but I couldn't get back on the stage to use it. Wolf, like, chased me off the side and just... That's uh, okay. the other amiibo. <laughs> Just me and you? Yep. I got two lives? You're done. Early. 
Nah, you can go this way. Well, there's one. I hope I get that big life. How many? You got, I gotta take a hundred off of you. Uh, it's not about how much you do. It's just about. Um. Nope. That might be it. Nope. Oh, I wanted to get that. I wanted to grab you. Oh, okay. This is over. Look at all. Yeah, I like Bowser, man. Yeah, he's good. I feel like I need two. I just don't want to always be stuck with Bowser. Okay. That's all I actually want to record. Fair enough. I can play more, but I don't need to record anymore. I like it. There we go. So, of course, I'm going to do this with just me and Fox. I'm picking the temple stage. The the Star Fox stage I did earlier and the, the Zelda temple stage both remind me a lot of Christmas time back in 2002, I guess it was, when I got the GameCube. Jameson once I think he, like, one of the times he wished me happy birthday on Facebook, he said something along the lines of, I remember when you got a GameCube for Christmas. We got that GameCube and, uh, we didn't have any games for it. Like, we didn't get any games that Christmas. Um, we got some money with which to buy games, but all the stores were closed for Christmas, and so we couldn't use the GameCube. We were pretty bummed, but then our aunt, aunt and uncle coming down, and on the way down, actually they weren't married yet, they were dating, but on the way down, she uh, rented Luigi's Mansion and Star Wars Pod Racer for us. So we ended up playing video games. Let's get Fox in here. Somehow he's level 37, I don't recall him leveling up that much. I don't think I've used him since then, oh well. <laughs> it's gonna be a game of keep away. Christmases, holidays in general when I was a kid were great. We used to decorate a lot for Halloween. We would um, buy like spider webs and stuff, those plastic spiders, decorate our staircase like the banister and stuff. It looked really great. We would have Halloween parties. We'd make like creepy Halloween style snacks. Halloween was one of my favorite holidays, but Christmas has some great memories of setting up the Christmas tree and it was really big. Like, it was just a big tree in general, I think, but when we were kids, it was... It was even bigger. Um, I mean, it seemed bigger. We, uh... I would sometimes just get underneath it, like I could... I could fit under it like I was a present. I remember that big open, we called it the living room, back before the TV was in that room. Maybe at night, my, my parents would be in the... in the TV room watching TV. And it'd be dark in the living room, but the the lights on the tree would be plugged in and I'd go in there and it'd just be quiet and the lights would just be kind of I think they were set to like dim and then get bright again and then dim maybe some of the time I don't know I guess probably depends on the year and I would just go in there and just bask in it just bask in the spirit of Christmas uh, it was it was pretty magical when I was a kid I remember when I was 12, when I was in sixth grade, that Christmas was, um, for some reason, I just remember being really happy. That was like one of the happiest times in my childhood was when I was 12 years old. And it was Christmas time and I just remember feeling really in the Christmas spirit and really just excited and happy. Not even like about what present I would get. I don't even remember what I got that year, but just, just generally happy. 
Christmas morning. Well, first off, we would usually, we'd get a couple presents from our parents. We'd get like a big thing that we really wanted and we'd get maybe one or two other kind of smaller things. And um, we, we could usually always open one present on Christmas Eve. And I think we could choose which box, but we, our parents would give us like a selection of boxes that we could choose, I think. Or maybe they would just pick one for us. It, again, probably depended on the year. Because we obviously couldn't open like our big, our big like gift that we really wanted that was going to be the big surprise until Christmas Day. So we could usually open one gift Christmas Eve and then we'd go to sleep and when I was a kid and still believed in Santa Claus. And by the way, when, when my mom told me he wasn't real, it wrecked me. Um, I think I was in third grade, which is maybe a little old. Um, whatever. I don't know. I, I, wanted, I really wanted to believe in magic stuff when I was a kid. And I thought Santa was cool and I thought it was a really just meaningful custom spirit of Christmas. Um, and I liked the thought that he existed. And when when, she, when I started getting curious, because people on, like, girl on the bus told me he wasn't real and stuff. <clears throat> my mom, I had to kind of like dig the truth out of her, because she didn't want to say it. And I cried. It uh, broke my heart, because I wanted the magic thing to be real. And you could say that it's still a custom, um, just because he's not real. It's, I mean, obviously it's like something that we do, but I, no, I don't like it. Like, I, uh, I don't like being lied to. I don't want to be told that there's this magical thing and then it's not actually true. And if you say he's the spirit of Christmas, you should also make clear to the kid early on that it's a metaphor and that it's not literal. Because I really wanted the actual real Santa to be there. Um, anyway, I kind of got off track there. Uh, oh, I brought that up because Jameson found out a little bit later. I, like, I found out first, I didn't tell Jameson. And later on when Jameson found out, and I think he found out, like, younger than me, he didn't really care. He was pretty chill about it. Anyway, yeah, uh, Christmas morning we would wake up and... It's this kind of thing kids do where, like, they know that they're the center of attention or they can sense in some way that this is about them. It's like if you ever, if you ever, like, take a really little kid to a, a like, a a fair and amusement park and there's a merry-go-round. The kid really wants to ride the merry-go-round. They pick out their horse they want to ride or whatever. And then they're going around and the parents are watching. The family's watching and each time the kid comes around, the kid will like awkwardly look away and pretend that he or she doesn't notice the parents or isn't painfully aware of the fact that they're like smiling and watching her and like, are you having fun? Are you having fun? This is a good, <laughs> like, because I don't know, it's just awkward for the kid. I've seen it happen a lot, and it was a little bit that way on Christmas morning when Jameson and I would, our parents would tell us to come downstairs and we would get up and we would walk down the stairs. We would kind of have our heads down um, because we knew that we were being watched as we walked down the stairs. You know, you know how it is. Maybe you don't, I don't know. Uh, I miss eggnog. I don't think there's eggnog in Korea. I mean, probably like on the, the Air Force base you could buy it, I bet, but... Yeah, anyway. We kind of stopped doing as much holiday stuff, which I'm, in hindsight, I'm really disappointed about. Um, and I, I feel like I was at fault too, like even though I was young, um, I was old, like kids aren't stupid. Kids often know a little bit of what's going on. And we kind of stopped decorating for holidays after a certain point because just no one really, like Jameson and I just weren't really interested. And so our parents are like, well if you're not that interested, then I guess we're not gonna, you know, put all the effort into doing it. And even back then, I was probably... I mean, I guess, I don't know, 13, 14, whatever, getting into be a teenager. Even back then, I knew on some level that I wasn't happy with this and that I it would have been better if the Christmas traditions had been upheld. I just couldn't be bothered. But I knew I was wrong. I knew I wasn't happy with that. I just, I just didn't feel like doing it. I kind of blame... 
I mean, I, I do kind of blame myself. I don't. It's not like a, a big, huge deal. I guess it's just kind of sad. But I, I knew full well that I could have made it happen. <laughs> I, I kind of blamed the internet a little bit. I kind of got sucked into. We got a computer and the internet, and I, I was really quiet as a kid and didn't have a ton of friends um, through most through like. Uh, I guess most of my childhood when I was a teenager and especially when I was around like 14 or so I became really really shy don't know why don't really know why I became really quiet so a lot of my closest friends were on the internet I kind of discovered AOL instant messenger around that point and uh, started posting on video game message boards and stuff. I met I mean some of like some of those people I still talk to today on the regular and consider them my closest friends, so I don't I don't regret that, but I did spend too much time online. And I it did kinda like kill a lot of my enthusiasm for other stuff, uh, for trying as hard in school. I still made good grades, but I went from being like a really high scoring student to like an above average student, which is different. And I, I could have been better. No, no, a lot of people probably have this story. You either keep putting in the effort or you don't, but yeah. Life goes all sorts of different ways. Jameson was kind of the same. Jameson was actually, when it came to academics, he was more of a perfectionist than me. For, at least early on. He, he got like straight A's, whereas I was pretty, pretty cool with mostly A's and a couple B's. He or like one A, one B or whatever. He, he like wouldn't tolerate anything less than straight A's for himself. He was really smart. He worked hard, um, and I, I'd say I got sucked more into the internet sooner and to a, a greater degree than he did. But eventually, his grades started to suffer as well. Like kind of midway through high school, I'd say, and that was because of the stuff he started to get into with his friends, a bunch of bad influences around him. And I'm not trying to solely blame other people because it's got to start somewhere. And Jameson, I imagine, too, became a bad influence for other people after a certain point. I don't want to lift him up as this angel who was poisoned or anything. I think every, I guess every child is somewhat of an angel who is maybe poisoned by the outside world. And it spreads, so. Anyway, what's done is done. This should probably be a little bit more Christmassy. New Year's, that's something I haven't talked about. New Year's was always really fun. We would usually celebrate with our neighbors. Um, we were really lucky to have a family next door. Like right next door, you could walk over there in two minutes, one minute. And uh, the family, they were about the same age as my parents and they had kids about the same age as me and Jameson. Um, older sister, Elisa, was She's like two years older than me. Travis was a year younger than me. Four years older than Jameson. Because I'm five years older than Jameson. And for a while, several years, another family um, lived close as well, like a couple houses up. They had a daughter named Megan, and she was maybe a year or two older than Jameson. And yeah, New Year's we would all, oh, Jameson, you killed me. I feel kind of weird about saying that because as I've already discussed, it's an amiibo. Whatever. This is the kind of thing where you pour a little bit of your drink out for the, the dead friend who can't be there anymore. It's the same kind of thing except video game wise, video game style. Anyway. Uh, what was I even saying? Uh, yeah, we'd celebrate New Year's all together. Um, Fourth of July usually too, but yeah, New Year's we would we'd all get together and get our little clapper party things and sparkling cider that did not have alcohol. Although um, the adults might have had alcoholic, I don't know. Theirs might have had alcohol, but um, yeah, and we we'd get our tiaras and all our goofy decorations and stuff and. 
bring in the new year. Uh, sometimes this family with a, a couple boys named Kyle and Sean would come. They were friends with um, our neighbors, and for a while, like that was the only time of year I ever got to see those two boys was on New Year's when they'd come visit. Um, I really liked them. I thought they were pretty funny and cool. I think Jameson liked them pretty well too. And uh, yeah, we'd we count down to the change of the year, and then we'd we'd keep partying for another maybe two hours. We'd usually go home around two in the morning, go to sleep. It was on New Year's Day in 2005, as I've already said in a previous episode, that um, Jameson and I, along with our friend Sam, recorded that uh, that Jordan's Dream video. On this stage in Smash Brothers Melee, <clears throat> Jameson and I used to play a lot of matches together, either in a team or against each other, as the Fire Emblem characters Marth and Roy. Um, we really liked... We, we didn't know anything about Fire Emblem. I think a lot of people, a lot of American kids' first exposure to Fire Emblem was through Smash Brothers, through Melee, because um, Fire Emblem had not come to the US yet, but Marth and Roy were in Smash Melee. And Jameson and I liked them, they were fun to play. I think Jameson usually preferred to play Marth, and I liked Roy better. So I considered doing, we would often play Marth and Roy in this stage because there wasn't a Fire Emblem stage, so the developers of the game put an option for Fire Emblem music in this stage, because this like medieval fantasy castle I guess was the closest thing to a Fire Emblem stage. So picking this stage, I considered doing a Marth and Roy match, but no, I, it's going to be Fox and Falco. The whole point was to use the amiibo. That's what I was talking about in the last video, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, this is going to make the video a lot longer, so I should actually end this. Alright, fighting Fox for real now. I haven't even been paying attention to what's been going on. <laughs> Time for a little payback. Alright. Fancy man over here. See my body flinch just then when I did that? <laughs> People who aren't uh, familiar with playing video games always like move the controller and stuff when they're freaking out about not being able to make a jump or something. I've been playing them so much through most of my life that I don't do that. I just it's muscle memory in my fingers. But yeah, I straight up flinched when I, I wanted to make sure I hit him. <laughs> it's not going to help me hit him, but it's just like an involuntary thing. I don't even need to use that move, I just want to. There we go. There we go. GG, Amiibo Fox. that's going to do it for this video.